Well, today, a Bay Area woman who nearly died while giving birth met the strangers who saved her life. Nightbeat's Maria Medina is at UCSF with how the survivor is now paying it forward. So thank you for the blood. Thank you for my life. Thank you for being here so that I can say thank you to you. Today, one by one, Emily Peters hugged the strangers who kept her alive. Excuse me if I'm getting a little emotional. Janice Peterson is one of more than a dozen donors who'd given blood that Emily received. It is so exciting to be here and actually meet somebody who, I mean, they, they, they received my blood and as a result, they're here with us today. While delivering her daughter Lucy, one of Emily's arteries had torn. Her doctors say she lost so much blood she could have died. Emily remembers seeing Lucy right after giving birth before passing out. And I woke up uh, about 36 hours later in the ICU, having received 31 units of blood to save my life. She had lost so much blood that her, her body was losing the ability to clot blood. Emily's doctor also had a part in saving her life and is now watching Emily save others. And then to watch her recovery um, and how amazing she was um, was so special. One year after giving birth to Lucy, Emily decided to pay it forward. She is now a regular blood donor, and she says the first time she donated, her daughter was by her side. It's incredible. I mean, what do you say to somebody who gave you their blood, right, who saved your life and they had no idea that they even did it and that it was going to have that impact on somebody? Um, it's just, it's really, really special. And it took Emily more than a year to track down her donors. Two dozen others could not make it today. On the Night Beat, I'm Marie Medina.